these products are game changers <laughs> hey guys welcome back to another vlog hope you are all doing very well so i just thought to come on here to do a quick get ready with me i actually think this is the first to get ready with me i'm filming <laughs> I'll be going out later today with a few of my friends. We have this girls' day out plan, and we've been planning this girls' day out for the longest. So I'm quite happy that it's finally coming to fruition. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I'm looking forward to it. So I'll be showing you guys how I go about my morning skincare routine, what products I use. I think my morning skincare routine is basically simple. It's not complicated at all, and I believe these products have really helped me achieve a flawless and glowing skin if i do say so myself okay so the first product i go in with is this la roche posay serosing mist this is really good for hyperpigmentation and uneven skin as well so i basically just spray a very generous amount when it comes to my skincare product i do not mise it at all i apply a generous amount i just feel like if you apply a lot it works quicker <laughs> i'm just joking don't come for me but yeah i love to oops i'm basically just using my fan to quicken the drying process because it can take a while for the product to set in and dry so i just go with my fan to help me quicken the process so i don't actually allow the product to dry on completely on my face and then i go in with the next product which is this vichy mineral 89 fortifying and plumping daily booster i feel like this helps a lot with hydration i just go in with a few palms i use my this index finger i shall use one of my fingers to apply <laughs> apply the product on my face and then i just blend it in completely these products are actually game changers i used to struggle a lot with my skin i think it was a couple of years ago my skin was just not in a very good place at all i was breaking out quite frequently i had spots it was just a lot going on on my face at that time and then my sister introduced me to some of these products that i'm using in fact all of these products i'm using um she was the one that put me onto it and guys i have never looked back these products are game changes i just feel like it's left my skin looking flawless and glowing and i don't break out as much as i used to literally when i go to bed i'm always scared that when i wake up i would have one or two breakouts on my face but since i started using this product i can actually count how many times i've woken up with a breakout on my face and to be honest i credit it to this product i'm using they are really really good it's good for hyperpigmentation on even skin tone or even if you just want your skin to glow i think this product would help you achieve that the product is actually not that cheap but i think it's a good investment for your skin and someone like me i don't really like wearing makeup all the time i know you guys are good that's not true but i really do not like wearing makeup all the time that's why i try to invest in my skin so even when i'm not wearing makeup my skin still looks really really good and i think i'm happy with where it is now and of course there's still room for improvement but i think where it is now is a long way from where it was a couple of years ago so i'm quite happy about that so the next step is to go in with either this try tranex samic acid serum or this alpha abitin serum both of them are good for hyperpigmentation it says it helps reduce the appearance of dark spots so both of them actually do the same thing this other one says helps reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation so i use this um either of them once i go with my hydrating serum so i think i'm going to use this one today like I said, both of them do exactly the same thing. I just like to mix 
and match depends on what I'm feeling like that day. It's also worth mentioning actually i think this product is also good for sensitive skin i believe my skin is sensitive and it works absolutely fine for me so if you have a sensitive skin i think you should not be too worried about using this product skin types are different right people are different of course so what works for me might not necessarily work for you but i think having sensitive skin and this product works for me i just believe it might work for most people so maybe just try it and see if it actually works for you or irritates um, your skin give it like a patch test or something but i highly doubt that it's going to irritate your skin because my skin is one of those sensitive skin that any new product i try to just literally flare up um, but with this one it's been really really good so once i've applied the um serum i go in next with another serum this one is a vitamin c serum it's from Cordely. Cordelie Paris. I believe it's a French brand. This is one of the expensive products I use. I believe it's about £42. I got all of them from Sephora. I'm not sure I've mentioned they're all from Sephora. And this one is £42. This is the most expensive product I have, but it's really, really good. It's a vitamin C brightening serum. So I just go in with a few drops on my face. that's it when it comes to this product i mize it i don't use it a lot because it's not cheap like i've said this product can last me for two three months but pushing to three months but i think two months is more realistic and then after the vitamin c i go in with the last step which is my face cream so this one is also from cordelie i'm not sure the pronunciation cordelie it's a french word so please forgive me i'm not french okay but this is a brightening face cream this cream is also very good it's literally a game changer i love this cream so much this one was 40 pounds i believe so both of the quarterly products are quite expensive i think the cheapest product i have is this one from the inculus the alpha apple serum this one was i think seven pounds both of them were actually seven pounds the rest of them were over 30 pounds so i think it's worth it so i just go in with the face cream after i've applied all the product this is the last step just apply a small amount to my face i don't need to apply a lot at all and then i'll just blend it really nicely And that's it basically that's my skincare routine done i'm sure a few of you will come for me for not applying sunscreen but guys i know sunscreen is important okay i know i know don't come for me however i haven't found the perfect sunscreen the other day i wore one sunscreen it's called the black girl sunscreen so you would think it would go well with the black skin tone right you're wrong i applied that sunscreen i think it was just recently like two or three days ago oh my gosh guys the wide cast that sunscreen left on my face was just something else. I looked like Caspar the Ghost. It was horrible. I literally had to wash my face and start my skincare routine all over again. So I'm still looking for the perfect black girl friendly um, sunscreen product. So if you guys have any recommendations, please, please, please leave in the description box for me because if you have tried, they are not good at all. So I'd rather leave my face the way it is and apply a sunscreen that will leave me with white cast and when i go up people will be looking at me funny like this if i post like if you can't find the right um sunscreen for your face why don't just why don't you just leave your face the way it is basically so that's how i see it so until i find the perfect sunscreen i think i will just leave my face the way it is to be fair though i have one sunscreen one bondy sand sunscreen that one is good but i just feel it leaves my face really greasy it blends in nicely it doesn't leave white cast on my face but it leaves my face greasy like you can literally fry something on my face after i rub it so i'm like ah, this is too much for me i don't want to be looking so greasy and oily when i go out so i'm still looking for the perfect 
sunscreen that doesn't have white cast but also does not leave my face looking greasy so if you have any options or if you use any one that actually works well for your skin please 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 recommend to me so that's literally the end of my skincare routine and then i'll just put sleep gloss um to moisturize my lips I decided not to do makeup today because I'm not just feeling like it. Like I said, I don't really love to wear makeup all the time. If I can avoid it, I will. I just love to give my face breathing space to basically breathe. So I just thought there's no point having makeup today. So this is how I'm literally going out. And I think I look cute. Plus, I'm actually running late. I do not have the time for makeup. I think that's another reason why I'm not doing makeup because I don't have the time. Plus, yeah, I just feel like my skin is okay the way it looks. I haven't actually told you guys what we are up to today. So we are going to the Upside Down House at White City. I haven't been there before. This is actually my first time, so I'm looking forward to it. I've seen some pictures and it looks really, really fun. I think the concept of the house is basically you look like you are upside down from the pictures I've seen. So guys, watch out, okay, because I'm going to flood you all with videos and pictures. And then we are thinking of also going for a VR experience, virtual reality experience. I think that would be fun as well. I haven't been as well, or have I? I think I have, but this one is slightly different. I think they have different VR experience um, variations, really. So the one that we are thinking of going for is slightly different, and I'm looking forward to that. And then to round up the night, we are going to a buffet restaurant in the city as well. Um, because after all that exercise and work we need to eat okay uh, so this that's what we have planned things might change but at the moment that's what we are planning on doing and i'm so looking forward to it i'm so looking forward to it my love language is quality time or one of my love languages is quality time so this really like they are speaking my love language really um i love that quality time with friends family people that i love really. i just feel it helps to build the bond the friendship the connection um you guys have so i'm really looking forward to it i'll take you guys along with me of course let me quickly get ready and i'll catch you all later bye this is the outfit of the day a very simple and casual outfit i feel like you cannot go wrong with a nice jumper and a jeans it's just a classic and i mean it's giving everything it's meant to give <laughs> i got this jumper from h&m i believe i featured this in one of my previous h&m hauls it's a recent addition to my wardrobe it's this very beautiful purple color cable knit cropped jumper it's really nice and thick and then i got the jeans from a new look it's also featured in one of my hauls i believe it's the primark or one of my vlogs i can't remember but i got these jeans from new look and i've told you guys the story about these jeans so basically when i went into new look and i was just shopping and browsing through i saw the jeans on the wheel it looks really beautiful the color attracted me to it and when i saw the size it said age 15 and i'm like age 15 but then i looked at the jeans and it seemed like it was actually going to fit me you know sometimes you go into stores and you have a look at items but it's not in your size but when you look at the item you're like this top or this item is actually going to fit me that was what happened in this case so i actually went to the facing room i tried it on low and behold guys look at how stunning these jeans look so it's actually one of my best jeans literally one of my best jeans and i would have missed it because of the size so moral lesson do not let the size deceive you actually try on the item to be sure that it doesn't actually fit so yeah this is the fit of the day and for my footwear i'll just be wearing a gray new balance trainers i think that would complement and bring the whole look together we actually have a dress code well we are that extra <laughs> the dress code is a pop of color so this is my pop of color i mean the purple is purpling okay this is my pop of color i can't wait to see what the other girls would wear all right guys i would catch you all later bye What are we doing today? <laughs> biggest, baddest, you already know. <laughs> biggest, baddest babes. Girls day out, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period, Paul. Is that how they say? 
So Sephora recently launched in the UK, I believe it was first week of March and on the day I think they were having like a welcome event or something and there were a lot of people queuing on my days. The queue was so long, the amount of people that were in the queue was just so mind blowing and they patiently waited for their turn, wow. And then we decided to go into Primark, so one of us, the person that actually gave us the dress code came without a pop of color, so she decided to go into Primark to basically get herself a nice um colorful jumper and yeah we're glad she was able to get something really nice and she was twinning and matching with the rest of us and then our dear friend majestically walked in in all black she definitely didn't get the memo but she also got something um from primark the mango magic or the passion one which one yeah which one comes watery because i know there's one of them that is a no, bit okay, liquidy the, the, the poshes are all icy the mango magic passion mango it's got yogurt it's, it's, not, it's not an icy okay you probably think about mango tang this one's icy no i want the thick one so go passion mango yeah so can i have that one please Hope you guys enjoyed the little convo with the lady that was attending to me. She was quite patient with me, to be honest. I like what I like in it. It actually came out really, really nice. I loved it. And the next stop was the upside down house. This is my first time actually coming here, so I was not sure what to expect. But at the same time, I was really looking forward to it. I just knew that it was going to be fun because I'd already seen pictures online and saw how happy the people were <laughs> when they came. Now the pictures looked so funny. So definitely, I was looking forward to taking some nice pictures and videos which of course I did so the house was basically built upside down so basically if you take a picture it would give you the illusion of you are actually upside down which was quite fun and very unique my first time seeing something like this I really really enjoyed it we took loads and loads of pictures and videos You can tell I'm enjoying myself. Honestly, I had so much fun. I'm glad that we came here. Left to me, if I was the one planning, I would have just booked maybe bowling or golfing for us, like the regular stuff, which to be honest is a bit boring. So I'm really glad that the person that organized it actually chose something fun and unique for all of us, which was really, really good. I think we all had fun. Oh my days. Please, Miriam, what have you doing? Oh my days. We acted like JJCs, which means Johnny just come basically like newbies because we were all new to this like none of us had been here before so it was our first time we were experimenting having fun exploring yeah and just basically enjoying ourselves which was the goal and we were able to achieve that look at us <laughs> hey, say hi 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 now we had a lovely time i literally had a blast the pictures we took were so nice and very funny like i'm still laughing looking at them but it was such a beautiful time at the upside down house you already know <laughs> tell them tell them we've got some new clothes <laughs> Come on, tell them. Yeah. When you want to study, oh my gosh. So if you're a division babes like me, after a bit of a academia, you start to serve. <laughs> my five people, you get the drill, you start to serve. <laughs> you sit down, or you do it maintaining beauty. Come you on, tell the them. Out. You get your phone up for your content creation and you take your time, guys. Make sure you serve after relaxing. See you, my next. Hey, 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 hey. It's giving. It's giving. With umbrella. It's giving bougie. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 you not you. <laughs> Hope you're getting that content. If I get your you content get for you, ah. <laughs> I'll get people there, move. <laughs> 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 
have no shame. <laughs> <laughs> have no shame. So hi guys, we're having a get together, a friendship get together with the biggest, baddest babes. Come on. And we're gonna be asking ourselves questions. Yes. So Miriam, what was your dream job as a child? Vanessa, tell us the answer. How well do you know Miriam? Doctor? <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. Musician. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Where did that come from? Oh my God, Where did they come from? Okay, give us some steps. Give us some steps. Oh yeah, she was. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are not ready. They are not ready. All right, so we're continuing with our game. How well do you know your friend? Oh no, sir. This one is for you. Let me know where you think Buki would like to travel to. Ah, Queen B, Queen B, Queen B is giving. Um, there's no place is always saying. It's giving. There's this island. It's not coming to my mind now. Island. Like this island. It's giving Mauritius or. Not the guess. But is it Bahamas? There's one Bora Bora. Bora Fuji. Come on, America. Is it America? Sorry, babe. Sorry, yeah, babe. Yeah. I would love to go to Dubai. Dubai. <laughs> All right, so next question is for Buki. Mm -hmm. Buki, how did Onose's last relationship ah. end? Ah. Has Onose ah. ever been in a relationship? Ah. That's a good question. Are you not saying? Of course, of course. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our little friendship quiz. That was actually so much fun. And then the next stop was food, food, food. Because after all the enjoyment, you have to end it up with some good food. So we decided to go to this restaurant in the city called Aroma. It's a buffet restaurant. It was really, really good. To be fair, the food was not too great. I would rate it an 8.5. I think they didn't have quite a lot of varieties. They tried, but I felt like they could have done better and the taste of the food was not given i mean it was not given all i wanted it to give i think the rest of the girls actually had um something nice or they enjoyed their meal but for me i think the experience with the food was not 100 percent maybe like 75 80 percent which i guess is not bad and this is the first time i'm coming here so i wasn't too sure what to expect they had a number of things but i just feel like the quality of the food was not great and the experience was mm, was all right but we definitely made it fun for ourselves so that was really really good <laughs> i can't lie when i saw this i thought it was jello fries i was telling my friend that looks so much like jello fries and it actually does but it's definitely not jello fries and then after the mains we had some desserts the desserts were actually really good i feel like they had lots of varieties there were a lot of options to choose from which was really good i definitely enjoyed the desserts overall we had such a great time it was really a beautiful day <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog i'll catch you all in my next one bye